Welcome back. Um, last time we ran into this problem, see how this is not lined up? Like these uh, circle end pieces should be, it shouldn't be this way. So we have to look at our, uh, our alignment like this. And you have to play around with it until you get the angle you like. And that's exactly what we're looking for. So instead of the Z axis like it normally by default jumps to, you want to make sure it's on the Y. And that's exactly why I decided to do this longhand, or record it longhand, I guess. So in case we run into things like that, and I'm glad that happened, because now we know. Okay, so let's move on to these. at constraint angle is proper this is not proper again let's get rid of that blue line and our Y didn't work our X doesn't work. You know what? Uh, let's uh, to delete it. Just click on it here and delete. And I've looked at the wrong thing. I'm an asshole. I'll take that. It's fair enough. We're supposed to be looking at this one, and I clicked it down here. Sorry. So again, get rid of the uh, the blue view line, and Y doesn't do it. X doesn't do it. There it is. Back to Z. Z does it. Z again. And we have this guy looking at this guy. Flip. And we have this big bastard looking at this guy. Ah, now we have to flip it and change the uh, align to up node axis thing. So we'll flip, oh, we'll erase that too. And now that's in working order. Now to these guys, I said we're going to have problems with, because they're too long, I made them too long. I guess I just didn't, I don't know. I forgot to fix it, fuck it, we'll do it now. We have a look, obviously, at the only other one there is. This guy. And of course, he needs to be flipped and run the Y. And he needs to be flipped and run on the Y also. So now both these guys are really long. And you can see they're really, really overshooting. What's going on here? All right, so what I'm gonna do is uh, select everything going on there. Um, you know what? I I will I won't even select the dummies either. Just get the geometry and uh, hold down Alt Q, and that solos it for you. 
and I will take my selection tool which is a shortcut W on the keyboard and you can hold down alt and right click and go to local or you can go to local up here it's set default to view go to local and uh, let's grow it out a bit oh, yikes oh I see I was gonna make this see-through uh, alt X so I can see the goddamn geometry Pain in the butt sometimes this is. But you love this. If you didn't love it, you wouldn't be doing 3D, would you? I'm conf or I'm not confused. I'm uh I'm sure that if Webster's the guy who controls the Webster's dictionary started working with Max or Maya Blender or whatever it may be that they would redo the definition of tedium to making 3D things look cool or work properly. Oh, pain in the ass. I'm just going to eyeball that. Oh, well, anyway, we're wasting a lot of time on this now. So, anyway, you get that to work by um, doing whatever it is you have to do. And that's all we're going to do with it for now. It's close enough. It's not overlapping too much now. It doesn't look ridiculous. Although it might not be a great piston, it is indeed a piston. 751. Pain in the ass time. So that's uh we have our that's really how our pistons work. Um if we move this now we'll see that everything stays looking at one another. Oh, we found a blue liner. I forgot to get rid of him. Let's go to your motion tab. And sometimes you'll come up when you hit your motion tab, it'll look like this. And you're like, oh shit, how the hell do I get to my look at link info now? So make sure you go to rotate, because that's what the link is handling. And uh, just cut that blue line down to zero again. So um, I guess I'll cut the video here, but when we come back, we will add bones. And uh, IK chain to IK, of course, is short for inverse kinematics. IK chain to this bastard, and we'll link everything up, and hopefully the leg will be finished and ready to animate. See ya.